Okay, so uh, in this video, we're gonna be looking at third equations. So third equations actually don't have much to do with the thirds we were doing in the last chapter. So they not to do with the third rules. They're still, it's still the same third, still the same talking about square roots, but not the third rules we have to use, but obviously it makes sense to do them after each other, okay? So third equations, what's the third equation? So it's basically any equation that has a square root in it like that, okay? Uh, and it's more complicated because there's not just an x in the square root, there's an x plus 2, but it's, it could be just x in the square root, it doesn't really make a difference, okay? So the way you deal with these is we're going to square both sides, okay? So I'm going to draw brackets in blue, like this, okay? Uh, so on this side, we're going to get x plus 2, because anything in the square root squared, you just get whatever's in the square root, and that's, that's going to be your answer, okay? Uh, and this one here, so I'm going to write it in yellow, this is going to be what's, what not to write. So this is not equal to x squared minus 16, which is a mistake a lot of people do. They just square square the x and square the, the 4, but that's completely wrong, so you're not allowed to do that. What you have to do is to square the entire side like that. So you're going to get, oh sorry, I'll go to red. x minus 4 multiplied by x minus 4. Just anything squared is it just it multiplied by itself. So that's going to give us x squared minus 8x plus 16, okay? So not x squared minus 16, or yeah, minus 16, never do that, okay? Uh, so now we're just gonna work with this, so we're gonna go zero then is equal to x squared minus 9x plus 14. I'm just gonna write equal to zero and get rid of the zero here, just for, uh, just to keep it reading it from left to right, makes more sense. Okay, so now we're gonna factorize this here, this is a quadratic, we're gonna have x, and we're gonna have x, equal to zero. We're going to pick minus seven and minus two. So I said, I said, I said we're going to pick, there's only one answer, so I shouldn't have said we're going to pick, but x minus seven and x minus two, because minus seven by minus two is going to be plus 14. If you multiply them by each other, and if you add them, minus seven plus minus two is going to be minus nine, okay? So that means x is going to be equal to seven, or x is equal to two, okay? So one thing, one last thing, I'm doing green, you have to check your answer, okay? Uh, and the reason for this is, so in this case here, it doesn't actually matter, so I'll do it anyway, but um, x plus two, so it's either gonna be, what x plus, x equal to seven or x is equal to two, so it's either gonna be seven plus two in the brackets, or in the square root, or two plus two. So both of these are fine. That's gonna be square root of nine, which is equal to three. And this is gonna be the square root of four, which is equal to two. But the reason, sorry, I'll fix that three. The reason we have to check it is say, for example, I'll do some purple, that in the square root, it was x minus three, okay? So in this case, we would have had seven minus three, which would have been the square root of four, which would have been two, so all is okay. But this one here would have been if x is equal to, so remember one of our answers was x is equal to two. So if we had x is equal to two here, we'd have two minus three, which is equal to the square root of minus one, which isn't a real solution. So we'll go, we'll do that again in complex numbers, but basically this is wrong. So then if we, so obviously for example, this example isn't like that, but if this, if the example was, the square root of x minus 3, we would have to go back, we would have to cross this out and circle or square this one. So this would be the only correct one, okay? So for this instance, because it's x plus 2, they're both uh, solutions for x, but say if it was like this, then only one of them would be a solution. So that's one thing you always have to check your answer for third equations, okay? Uh, thanks for watching. We're going to have another video next.